Hi, it's Tanya from My Forking Life, and today we are making the most creamiest, delicious mashed potatoes, and we're gonna make them in our pressure cooker. It is one of my favorite ways to make mashed potatoes because it's not only easy, but the results are such creamy, delicious potatoes. We won't even have to drain the potatoes. Woohoo! We're just gonna put stuff in our Instant Pot, open it up later after we pressure cook it, of course, and you're just gonna fall in love with how creamy the dish is. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna go ahead and peel and chop about two and a half pounds of russet potatoes. I like to buy the medium sized russet potatoes. That's kind of how you can determine if it's two and a half pounds. And I use about five of these medium ones. I'm gonna go ahead and peel. And you might wanna save those skins for later. You can use them for broth or potato skins. And then I use a sharp knife to cut that potato into about one inch chunks. So the way that I cut it is I go ahead and I just cut it down the center. Then I take that half and cut that down the center. Then I take that half and cut it down the center. And then cut that down the center. Easy peasy. Now we're ready for our potatoes to go inside of our pressure cooker. So I'm gonna go ahead and place those chopped potatoes in my pressure cooker insert. You'll just wanna dump them right in the insert. You don't need a steamer basket or anything. Once you've placed all your potatoes in your basket, you are gonna go ahead and add some water. And you're also gonna add some full fat heavy cream. Now, as you notice, my potatoes are not fully covered. That is absolutely okay because you're building the pressure. They are still gonna be fully cooked when we're done. So go ahead and cover your pressure cooker and set it on high pressure for about 11 minutes. <laughs> and we'll come back when our pressure cooker potatoes are almost done. So our timer has just gone off on our pressure cooker and we're gonna go ahead and let that naturally release for about three minutes before we add the remainder of our ingredients. All right, so our machine has naturally, naturally released for about three minutes and we're gonna move that top valve from sealing to venting to go ahead and quick release the remaining pressure, but be careful. Now while that's releasing, we're gonna go ahead and grate some Parmesan because I'm gonna use that to flavor these mashed potatoes, and I'm also going to use some white truffle oil. Well, it's actually olive oil infused with white truffle aroma and flavors, and it is so good. And the flavor of the white truffle oil paired with this Parmesan and a little bit of salt, and maybe topped with some chives, makes these potatoes taste so good that I don't even need to add any butter. So we'll go ahead and open our lid. As you can see, those potatoes are nicely cooked and ready to be mashed. We'll make sure we press cancel on our pressure cooker and we could either use a potato masher or if you've got, what are those, little electric beaters, you could use that as well. I'm just gonna use this potato masher to go ahead and mash these potatoes while they're in here. And I'm gonna add my truffle oil as well as my Parmesan cheese and my salt at this stage. For that cheese and some salt. And you just mash away until that mixture gets nice and thick and creamy. Little bit more cheese and keep mashing away. And what you'll notice is that those potatoes will thicken up so good, but they'll be so delicious and creamy. Go ahead and get a spoon. Mm. So good. <laughs> All right. 
Well, these potatoes are definitely ready to get on the dinner table, cover them in some gravy or eat them as is because they're so delicious and creamy. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell notification for new videos. Until next time, bye.